We often get the question, can I do a proximity search and a wildcard search in the same search string? Unfortunately, the answer to that is no, you can't. However, that doesn't mean that you can't construct such a search in Hein Online to find what you're looking for. So we're going to look at a real example to illustrate just how you would construct such a, such a search in Hein Online. So let's say we want to find documents or articles that discuss any court rulings related to unauthorized immigration or unauthorized immigrants. So we want to do a proximity search for our keywords to find unauthorized immigrants in court all within a proximity of 10 of each other. And that's using that proximity search will help us focus our results accordingly. Now in doing this search, we realize that many articles or documents may use the term immigration or immigrants in such a discussion. So we want to account for the variation of those two terms within our search string. So how do we do that? Now we know our current syntax doesn't support the use of a proximity search and the wildcard search in the same search string. So all we need to do is simply break it apart into multiple search strings and then use the boolean operator OR to combine the search strings together. So how would we do that? From the High Online Welcome page, I'm going to construct this search in our single search box here. What we're going to do is we're going to do our proximity search for the three key terms, unauthorized, immigrants, and court, and we're going to do it within a proximity of 10. So to do a proximity search, we're going to do open quotes, unauthorized, immigrants, court, going to put all three terms within quotations and we're going to do a proximity of 10. Now we're going to add a second search string that's going to accommodate the variation of immigrants. So instead of immigrants this time we're going to use the term immigration. So we're going to do boolean operator or in all caps, open quotes, unauthorized, now we're going to do immigration instead of immigrants, court, close quote, proximity, 10. And then we're going to click search. Now when our search string comes up, let's just take a look here at the top of the results to see exactly how that search looks. So you've got the first search string here, unauthorized, immigrants in court and it's searching for those all within 10 of each other or it's going to search for unauthorized immigration in court within 10 of each other. So instead of using a wild card for you know immigrants and immigration you just simply break it into two search strings using each variation of the term immigrants or immigration in those strings. And this brings back 66 results. And if we use our view matching text pages, you'll notice highlighted in green are our terms within the proximity of 10. Now when you use the Boolean operator OR here, if you have results that come up that contain these three terms within 10 and these three terms within 10 of each other, it's going to automatically place more relevancy on those results, bringing those results to the top of the list. So that's why you're seeing here in our view matching text pages, we have immigration, court, unauthorized immigrants. These are all within a proximity of 10 with, of each other within this particular article. So this is be, being given more relevancy in our results, and that's why that's going to be our first result here in our set of 66. So again, if you're looking to do a proximity search and a wildcard search, you can't do it in the same search string. All you need to do is just simply break it into multiple search strings and combine those search strings using the Boolean operator OR.